Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today's video is furthering my journey with the M1 Mac Mini and the 49 inch Samsung Super Ultra Wide Monitor. If you haven't seen the setup before, if you click the pop out banner on the right hand side of the screen now, it will take you to the setup and how I got us to this position. But today's video is going to concentrate on maximising the screen resolution and the refresh rate of the monitor and my difficulties in achieving that to this point. So when I set the system up, I decided to connect the monitor to the M1 with a HDMI cable. Now it wasn't the, um, the HDMI cable in the pack, I actually sort of bought a specific one, made sure that it was a 2.1 HDMI and it was able to transmit with up to 8K resolution through it. So it was about 15, 16 pounds, not earth shattering, but it was a decent cable. And to this point, when I've connected it with the HDMI cable, I've only ever been able to get up to 120 hertz. So it's not maximized the full 144 hertz refresh rate. As you can see, I only have the option of 60 or 120, with the resolution sizes detailed above. A lot of feedback from the channel has come through that actually if I change the cable to a Thunderbolt 3 to a display port, I may well actually be able to get a, uh, a better refresh rate and a better resolution. So I went ahead and took that feedback and decided to order myself a cable. Uh, it came through, I did a bit of research on this, I didn't just buy the first one that popped up on Amazon. Uh, make sure that it's able to kind of handle the level that you want. So this one was just under £20 I think, but it was able to actually um, handle the resolution and the hertz that I wanted. So I went ahead, uh, got it, it came obviously Amazon near enough the next day. Um, it's a braided cable so it's quite nice and hopefully that will be able to um, sit quite nicely in my setup and enable me to get a better hertz rate or refresh rate and hopefully be able to do something with the resolution as well. I'll pop a link in the description of the cable that I ordered so that you can have a look at it. So I was thinking from this point forward it was going to be really quite easy. I was literally just going to switch the cables out, plug the new one in and be presented with the same interfaces and options and dialog boxes to pick the resolution and the refresh rate. So here I am just unplugging the HDMI and plugging the Thunderbolt into the back of the Mac and then it was at this point that I started to become a little bit confused and presented with the different options. So whereas before I was presented with a dialog box that I could pick the Hertz rate and the resolution, now for some reason I'm presented just with the four boxes that changes the resolution and it doesn't tell me what size or scale they are and I've got no actual options for picking the uh, refresh rate or the Hertz rate that goes through the monitor. So the boxes just change the size of text but it doesn't actually tell me anything and nowhere within the Mac was I able to find out how to get this information. So after a very frustrating 15 to 20 minutes where I couldn't work out how I could get the Mac to actually tell me it, I decided to switch back to the HDMI cable as you can see all the original options uh, are available to me there and then decided to get the monitor to tell me what the actual refresh rate was at the time. So as you can see on the middle dial at the top it's 120 or indeed the boxes I'm just toggling through now confirm it's at 120. So that was confirming the original setup. I then switched back to the new cable so the Thunderbolt 2 display port. Again it presented me with exactly the same options but I was able to get the screen to confirm the 144 hertz and then also tell me the display resolution which rather disappointingly where my finger is now still showing the 3840 by 1080 and not the 5120 by 1440 that I'd hoped to achieve. So a good step forward in getting the refresh rate improved but I'm still at a bit of an impasse now of how I could possibly look to improve the resolution to get that maximum scale out of it. Um, if you've got any comments, suggestions or feedback of how I might be able to achieve that, I'd really welcome them being dropped in the comments below. Um, thanks very much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.